Yeah, the Black Quitter got bullied the other day, didn't he? Yeah, he looks petrified, don't he? The Black Quitter. You know, desperately trying to avoid eye contact. He looks petrified, don't he? So then he started giving off blowjob signals. You know, trying to blowjob his way out of the fight. You know, offering a blowjob to avoid a beating. Faggot. Absolute faggot. And then when the blowjob offer didn't work, he started begging Coogan to get involved in it. Saying, Coogan, 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 hold my glasses, Coogan. Coogan, get involved, Coogan. Coogan, do something, Coogan. Faggot. Absolute faggot. You know, he's got no substance at all, has he, the black quitter. He's got no courage at all, has he. You know, begging Coogan to help him be safe. You know, he's got no self-belief at all, has he. No self-confidence. And he was like saying to the guy who put it on him, Wait for me inside. Wait for me inside. Go inside. Meet me inside. You know people who really want to fight, they normally say, meet me outside. Meet me outside. You know where there's no nobody to break up the fight. Or there's no witnesses to witness you putting a beating on somebody. So most people who really want to fight, they say, meet me outside. But you know the black quitter, he said to the guy who put it on him, meet me inside where there's a lot of security around and a lot of people to break up the fight when I'm getting my head caved in like Prince Patel. Oh, he didn't want to fight, man. He tried to blowjob his way out of the fight. He tried to blowjob his way out. Yeah, he quit again, didn't he? Yeah, he quit again. You know, he's got no self-belief at all, has he? No self-confidence. Begging people to leave a positive comment on his videos. Write a positive comment underneath this video. Write something positive about me. Who does that? Who begs people to leave a positive comment on their videos? Write something positive about me. Do you know what I mean? Who does that? And he said in an interview that if I put it on him, he's going to bitch slap me. But we know what happened the last time I went to put it on you. You had to quickly go to Spain, conveniently. So you know you're not going to bitch slap anybody. But if you want to have a straightener, we can do. But don't keep going on and on and on and on and on. Like Kawasaki. He's worse than Kawasaki. We'll have a straightener on the cobbles, like Frotch and Kawasaki. But don't keep going on and on and on and on and on, like Kawasaki. Right, let me explain it now, just for you guys. So, I'm sat at home one day, not in this apartment, in my other apartment when I lived there. And I get a DM on Instagram, and it's from Time Booth. And I'm like, wow, man. Messi was like, hey bro, when are you free? I'd like to come sit down, have an interview with you, blah, blah, blah. If you want to interview me, I've got a flight booked to Spain. Conveniently. Where I'm, and I'm going to be leaving on the weekend. So if you want to see me, I think, I think it was a Monday. I was like, you got it from now until Friday to come and see me. Conveniently. I basically got to Spain on that weekend and then time with makes a sort of video. I wanted to interview Hara, but Hara quickly ran off out to Spain. Conveniently. He's not really on my mind. I'm a professional boxer. I'm doing big things. Why should I care about what he's got to say about me? He only talks about me because I'm doing big things. Write a positive comment underneath this video. Write something positive about me. Faggot. So he's making all these videos, he's spending all these hours and hours and hours filming from his little flat up in, up in Sheffield and he's not making a single penny for it. 200 quid. That's more than true Jordy gave me, isn't it? Yes, that 200 quid is officially me tying a millionaire, that's it, man. Right, I'm gonna ring up an escort, I think. You know, he's got no self-belief at all, has he? Running up to ring card girls and begging him for a photo. 
so he can get some likes. You know, he's desperate in it. He's desperate. He's got a low self-esteem. He's a quitter in it. He hasn't got the heart or the guts or the minerals. So he needs people to like his photos. And he sent me a photo on Instagram one time of him with this woman who I used to have a few message exchanges with on Instagram and WhatsApp saying, yeah, I've taken your girlfriend. Ha 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 ha. I wish she my fucking girlfriend. I've never met her once. She used to message me, asking me to go and see her all the time. And I never went to see her once. So how, how is that my girlfriend? And then he says, yeah, but uh, you sent her a message saying that she's marryable. Listen, men will tell women anything to get a blowjob off them. Yeah, men will tell women anything to get a blowjob off them. Like, you know that woman there, yeah? She looks all right, don't she? But you know those tattoos? Those tattoos have taken her from being probably a eight out of 10 down to a six out of 10. Yeah, in my opinion, she's been ruined by those tattoos. But you know, if I was in a nightclub and she came up to me and we were talking and there was a bit of a sexual vibe and she came back here and she took her clothes off and I seen those tattoos and she said to me, do you like my tattoos? I wouldn't say those tattoos are horrible. Those tattoos have taken you down a few levels. You want to get them removed ASAP because they're fucking horrible. You know, I'd say, yeah, they're nice. Yeah. Where did you get them done? Yeah, they're quite good They are. Yeah, I like them. You know, I'd be all fake like Anthony Joshua. Because if I told her that I don't like the tattoos, that would ruin the sexual vibe. So men tell women anything to get a blowjob off them. So, you know, the black quitter messaging me saying, yeah, you, you really like that woman. You said she's marriable. Yeah, you really liked her. You said she's really nice. I just said she's marriable for blowjob reasons. And when I said she's nice, what else have I said in these videos? You can make any woman look nice. You take an average woman and you put makeup on her, fake eyelashes, hair extensions, fake lips, photos from fancy angles, Snapchat filters. Get the woman to pout like Coogan and she'll look stunning. It's fake. You can make any woman look nice. So when I said that fucking woman's nice, is she really nice? It's an illusion. It's an illusion. So, you know, the black quitter, you know, if you want to try and upset me, you have to do better than that. You have to do better than going up to some random woman who I don't even fucking know off the internet and taking a photo with her and sending it me on Instagram in a direct message trying to upset me. You have to do better than that. I know you're upset that the Turkish asylum seeker started messaging me on Instagram, but she came to me. I didn't go to her. I don't chase after women. You know, Dan Bilzerian, yeah? You know, when he was younger, he probably struggled sexually like Coogan. So he probably thought to himself, oh, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to become a success. So women chase after me. I'm sick of being rejected by women. So I'm going to become a success and make that money. So women chase after me. And you see those women there, yeah? Those women have got to try and blow job their way into his circle. Now that he's a success and he's made a load of money, they've got to try and blow job their way in to his little circle, his little cult. So he's the one being chased now, isn't he? Dan Bilzerian. He's not the one chasing like the black quitter. He's not getting rejected like Coogan. Dan Bilzerian. You know, women are chasing after him, trying to get into his circle. And it's the same with AKA Skins. AKA Skins has put himself in a position where women go to him to try and get to Joshua. Even though Joshua lost, there's probably still a bit of sexual demand. So AKA Skins is still milking that demand and he's still milking Joshua's name for sexual reasons. So AKA Skins, he's done well to put himself in a position where women go to him to try and get to Joshua, even though Joshua lost. So that's the position that the black quitter needs to try and put himself in instead of chasing after women.
and begging him for a photo so he can get some likes. Trying to be like Mayweather. Trying to be flashy. You're not Mayweather, man. So stop trying to act like Mayweather. You're not Mayweather. When Mayweather boxed Shane Mosley and he got caught with that big right hand and it rocked him, you know, Mayweather toughed it out, didn't he? He shown that grit and he won the fight. You wouldn't fucking tough it out like that. You'd quit. Yeah? You haven't got the grit. You've got the quit. So stop trying to act like Mayweather. You're not Mayweather. The black quitter's just trying to get hype, in here Because he knows he's not going to do anything in boxing. He has to try and get hype. You know, he's a clown, in here like Lennox Lewis. Yeah. Listen, men will tell women anything to get a blowjob off them. You know, in the streets, I've knocked out three women. Yeah, my dad was in prison and my mum was on drugs. <laughs> he looks like a black skeleton. Why would it be rape? Posse and views. Be safe. Posse and views. Be safe. Is your deck cause new sleepless nights? Be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell.